A lot of guys go away for camp. Matt stays home. For Matt, it's not a distraction. It's, it's kind of like helps him. It, it keeps him grounded. It keeps him, you know, more focused on why he's really doing it. He sees his daughter every day. This is why I'm doing it. I fight for my daughter, absolutely. I mean, it's really important. I mean, sometimes it's really weird. My daughter, just keep look at me and goes, Dad, you can do it. And she motivates me. She rolling in the it's similar to like a Muhammad Ali, you know, and I could dance like a butterfly, dance like a bean. She want me to convert, you know, dance like a bird and pound like a hammer. And she's always supporting me, no matter what. As long as I'm happy, she's always there for me. Matt's a great dad. Um, the relationship he has with his daughter is, is very special. Every father out there, this is the relationship they want to have. They're like best friends. She puts him on such a pedestal, she wants to be like him. She's an athlete. She, lo she loves to wrestle. She, you know what I mean? She wants to be a fighter. She's a tough little girl. Here's this guy who fights in a cage for a living and is one of the baddest dudes on the planet. And then you see him around his daughter, and he's just a big teddy bear. I'm really blessed to have a daughter, you know, in my life. And it's really enjoyable. Thank you, God, right? You know, I just want her to be happy. It's something that I don't really have, you know, when I was a kid. So I think Matt has something to prove when he fights. He does fight for the deaf people. He does fight for the handicapped people. He does fight for people with disabilities. So, yes, Matt always fights for everybody but himself. And the fans are really critical for me, especially the deaf community. I'm, I'm very unique uh, fighting. You'll see a lot of deaf fighters in the UFC, even even the handicap fighting. But the, what they see, they got all the energy flowing in my body. And they got me really motivated. The trailer is something that I got it from my grandfather, you know. I mean, it's what my heart wants, it's my grandfather wants. Life is really hard. Beginning death is very hard. And I did have a lot of support in the communication. All I know is I have a heart. You know, I have an inner, inner drive to be really successful. When I'm facing rapping, it's a uh, summer final. You know, it's just like a wrestling bracket. I have never lost in a summer final in a wrestling bracket. So I'm going to bring the language bearing. I have a lot of skills I want to show them. Can't wait.